Amen. God has asked us to do his, his will forever. Amen. Amen. It's, been a long, it's been written from the beginning. Amen, hermanos. Hacer la voluntad de Dios. Amen. Es tiempo de hacer la voluntad de Dios, hermanos. Amen. No de, de necesidad, pero porque queremos hacerlo. Amen. Amen. God doesn't want us to give to him at a necessity. Amen. He wants us to give to him because we want to give to him. Amen. There's a lot of times they talk about, like in jail, you know, in, in prison or in jail, a lot of people give their life to God. You know, that's the time to give their life to God, right? Because there's a necessity. There's a need. You know, or you get sick and all of a sudden you turn to God like never before. You know, that, that's doing it at a necessity. I mean, something going on in your life and now you're doing it at a necessity. God loves it when you do it because you just want to do it. Amen. I mean, you know, our kids, you know, sometimes they're ungrateful. And you got to say, hey, hey, you know that roof that you live under? I'm kind of the one that helps pay for that. You know that food that you just got through eating? My job, you know, that I go to every day, that kind of helps put that food on the table. That clothes that you're wearing? You know, we have to sometimes remind our kids, right? Guess what? God's reminding us. I love the way it says, acceptable unto God, not acceptable unto you but unto God. Because if it was us, I went to church today, God. This world, Brother James and I were talking, this world, I mean, it's, it's like, it, it, it's not as appealing anymore, right? It, it's, it's lost its luster. It, it, it's a sad place to, to be in. And that sounds terrible. But, and I'm thankful that I have people that I can live life with right now. But ultimately, there's nothing here. It, it, it's a dump. The way the mentality of man is today, it's becoming a dump. Because God's not looking for, for you know, these levels of, you know, he's looking, you give, just give me your heart. Give it all. If you're going to just give me what, what you have, like, left over, you're not giving me your heart. But if you give it all to me, and I'm not saying to give, I'm not talking material things. I'm talking to give God your life, all of your life. Amen. Now, now it's, just, it's interesting now. We got to do some comparing here, right? So now Jonah is running away from the presence of the Lord. And jo the Lord says, okay, I'm going to send some wind, some, 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 some storm, you know, and to the point where it wants to break the ship. I mean, it feels like it's going to break the ship. So not only now is Jonah in trouble and his life is in turmoil, the people around him are being affected by him. Now, these guys who are, were worshiping other gods, as soon as he tells them who his God is, they're like, oh, man, your God, he's bad. He's bad to the bone. What are you doing, man? That, that these men were willing to give it all for water because they wanted to please the king. Don't you want to please your king? Don't you want to please him? I mean, if you could do that, because some people say, well, I can't. I mean, I got a family. I got kids. I got to love them too. No, no, no. Yes, I get it. But if you do this, man, you're going to be the best mama ever. You're going to be the best daddy ever, the best husband, the best wife. Because you're going to have God's love in you. Which is going to make you a better and a stronger person to, for him. I mean, you could be Jonah. And you could be creating a lot of chaos in your life if you want. Or you could be like these three soldiers. Serve God with all your heart. Amen. Give him everything you've got. Not because you have to, but because you want to. Amen. Just do it. Amen. Just do it in the name of Jesus. Amen.